Hi, this is Bill at Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this absolutely amazing heavy duty rugged frame model 20 CM Monarch lathe. Serial number 35095. This machine will actually swing 30.5 over the bed, 21 over the cross slide, and 96 inches between centers. The machine is set up with 48 changes in threads and 48 changes in feeds and it has 16 RPM speeds ranging from 11 and going up to 500 RPM. We're going to go ahead and run through the feeds, speeds, and give you an idea of the overall condition of the machine here. It's absolutely superb stock. This was just released from the U.S. Navy very well maintained and extremely, extremely superb overall condition. Okay, we're currently running a nice comfortable speed. We're going to go ahead and change up a few speeds. Let's see what you got, Frankie. I'll come down in about a minute. About one minute. This machine is currently wired at 440 volts. The overall weight on this machine, we're estimating is between 17 to 19 to 21,000 pounds. Call it 20. Forty-three RPM. Seventy. Okay, the spindle taper on this machine is a D18 cam lock. It has a two and a quarter inch spindle bore. It's a 20 horsepower main drive on the motor. American made electrics. Westinghouse, Square D, Allen Bradley. Color hammer, off the shelf type items. Two hundred thirty seven RPM. Okay, let's get locked in here. Okay, you can pull this ladder here. Looking at 400 RPM, ladies and gentlemen. We're spinning a heavy pattern American made 21 inch Cushman. 21 inch four jaw Cushman. Nice 400 RPM, Frank. Alora CA Post, very nice break. Alora CA Post, a smattering of miscellaneous tool holders. Very nice tool holders. A two inch diameter boring bar. It's a nice 500 RPM.
Okay, we're getting into the... Okay, we've got the cross feed. Okay, we've got 48 changes. That's 0 .0038.240 Ipper on the feet. Let's go with the head stop. On your left, Frankie, sorry. And then three quarter to 64 TPI on your threads. Stand by, hold, hold that thought, Frank. I'm too high up, I can't show that chart. Epic fell. Sorry, over. Feet on the longitudinal. You gotta work down to the back in a minute. I'm gonna need that light pulled back a little bit so I can walk through the drop tripping. Okay, let's move on to the tail stock. Beautiful carriage. Oh, by the way, on the carriage here, that's about 38 to 39 inches wide. Super heavy pattern. The width of the bed is 22 inches wide. Frankie wanted me to mention how heavy pattern this machine is. It's a number five Morse taper rocking out of this tail stock. Number five Morse taper. That's a 13 and a half inch on the whole ID of this heavy duty Monarch Steady Rest. We're going to talk about how it's raced in the sand by Monarch in just a minute here. You'll notice the casting pattern here, here. So it's designed to swing 30.5. So therefore it was raised in the sand. I would speculate it was raised in the sand when it was manufactured by Monarch to swing 30.5 inches over the bed. Oh, I better show them this, huh? Tail stock, uh, two lane. We've got uh, Morse taper uh, number four with the number five extension sleeve. I want to show them that boring bar. heavy pattern. It's a model CA, Aloris, with the two inch heavy pattern boring bar. Let me see that tip real fast. Beautiful. Thanks, Frank. Then we just grabbed a CA number one turning tool. Okay, getting back to what we were showing you, 22 inch wide on the bed. Okay, coming around, we've got a heavy duty, heavy duty taper attachment. Beautiful full length taper attachment. Uh, built in chip pad all the way around the machine. We have a nice coolant system, we have a gusher. The gusher pump. American-made electrics. Okay, concluding on these bedways. All right, let's show them the cross light. We're gonna crank the cross light out and show them on that last. Go. Okay, we're just gonna show you the general overall condition of the handles and the dials. Show them the cross light, Frank. Yeah. What else? We've got the headstock, the tailstock, the carriage, the compound, the cross slide. We reviewed the taper from the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Take note of limited use on these handles. Okay. All right, 10 minute video. We went over, huh? All right, well that about wraps it up on this machine. By the way, our stock number was uh, 
one thanks man one zero zero six nine dash twenty twenty one you make sure that doesn't tip over All right, until next time, feel free to reach out to us here at Machinery Consultants in Utah. We're here at 801-531-9500. Hopefully you'll be able to preview this video on www.machineryconsultants.com. Uh, we'll have a link to our video section on YouTube under our channel of Machinery Consultants. Uh, and again, machineryconsultants.com is like City, Utah. We look forward to taking any of your calls, answering any questions on price, what's available on